Pythagoras and a bit about the Pythagorean theorem. Let's answer the first question. Who is Pythagoras? That is Pythagoras. But still, who was Pythagoras? Pythagoras is a mathematician, and what he invented or proved was the Pythagorean theorem. Although he didn't really do that, but he still gets the credit for it. This is what he really used to prove or invent, whatever you want to say, the Pythagorean theorem. He used this little cheat sheet. Now let's go more into the history parts of him. So there are two myths about him. Let's go into myth number one. Pythagoras was in a cool kids club, and he hated beans. How it worked was, a person brings a square, and he says, I got seven and eight on one, uh, the other side. Well, congratulations, you stay in the club because you got the bigger numbers. Then another dude comes in and says, well, I got bigger numbers, 8.5 and 8.7. Well, guess what? You're kicked out of the club. Well, guess what? There's no decimals. One day, a random dude decided to come to Mr. to Pythagoras' house to tell him that his theorem is wrong. But he promised to keep it a secret. And so that was their deal. Pythagoras can continue getting his credit. One day, Pythagoras was having a lovely day when his secret leaked. And so Pythagoras was the murderer and he drowned the other guy. So that was the first myth. Now let's move on to the second myth. One day Pythagoras was having a nice day when a group of people just decided that they want to burn his house. And so he needed to run away. But they chased after him. And so Pythagoras ran in to a garden of beans. And remember, there are no beans in Pythagoras' world. So he had to run away this way. But the others run away right through the middle. And he died that day. Now to his theorem. The Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared in a right angle triangle. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Or you can also use c equals to um, square root of a squared plus b squared. So c equals to square root of a squared plus b squared. And by the way, it only works in right angle triangles. But today let's focus on the first formula. Basically, it was invented by removing one square from one thing and moving it to another box. And as you see, this is a 4 by 4 grid because it's a 4, 5, and 3. And basically, what you're supposed to do is make them equal. And make Move them as much as needed for each square to be equal. But we're doing it the easy way. So remember how in that example it said 3 squared plus 4 squared equals 5 squared, right? Well, this is A, B, and C. So how do we do this? What is 3 squared? That's 9. 4 squared, that's 16. And 5 squared is 25, right? So 9 plus 16 equals to 25. Am I right? I think so. So this theorem is right. And once again, this theorem only works on right angle triangles. So make sure that there's a right angle in that triangle. Or else the theorem will probably not work. Well, will not work.